everyone. Right now we are on the KTX, the bullet train here in Korea, heading to Busan, the south part of Korea. We are riding a first class ticket, which only consists of around $80. Uh, one way per person, so it's $160 each. Yeah. But it's her first time running first class too, right? Mm -hmm. So we're quite excited. I want to show you guys what a first class ticket on the bullet train in Korea looks like. So let's go. For those of you guys who are curious on how to get the ticket, you guys can download an app. It's called Core Rail. If you guys search this on uh, App Store, you guys will find it. And it's available in English. So what I did, I selected the date and time. And uh, I picked from Seoul to Busan. It will pop up with different type of schedules of the time. So yeah, and then um, you guys just need to put down your uh, credit card or just debit card number and then it's just gonna automatically pay after that. So yeah, I paid for 83,700 Korean won. And yeah, this is the first class. And if you wanna redeem your ticket on the day of your departure, um, you guys can go to the ticket booth and show your receipt and they will print out this one for you, the ticket. Well, it looks like on the first class ticket there's only an aisle of two and one. So it's actually quite spacious for each chair. So it looks like it comes with a footrest, which is quite long, quite nice, actually a lot of space. And a tray table, like a flip out. Oh, that's quite big. Look at that. That is quite large actually. Maybe double the size of a typical airplane one. Everywhere I go. I don't want to get sick. Guys, this is really interesting. There's a place for your phone. Nice. We can watch YouTube. Everything. Yeah. Something that was really cool was that right after I ordered the bento, the lunchbox, the lady started uh, frying the shrimp right in front of me. Mm. So it's kind of weird because like in Japan it's all about the, all the lunch boxes, the bentos are all cold, but I guess here some are hot, most, most hot I guess maybe. Yeah, so it actually took one minute to make. So. And I also got this beer, papas, one of my favorite. I got two things here. I actually forgot to buy water, so I might steal Chris's water. How's your cream puff? It's good, but I'm um, looking at yours. I couldn't decide what I want because we had one minute to order. So I saw Beer Papa, I got Beer Papa. And now I wish I got that. So from my seat on the right here, um, there's two different a USB outlet and then one um, cable outlet and also on the top you can put your jacket da -da -da -da. there you go so it seems that the Japanese bullet train goes up to 320 kilometers an hour and the Korean one goes 305 kilometers an hour so mm -hmm. just a brief stop for you Okay guys, so as soon as you walk out from uh, the sitting area on this side, you can actually read books. This is really cool and it says here first class passengers only. So you can sit here and read. They have a lot of other books as well. So I just read the whole thing. Um, if you click this for three seconds, you'll get free water. Oh, there you go. Yay! I got free water! Across from the vending machine, you can put all your luggage but you can also put the luggage on the overhead compartment which I will show you guys inside in the sitting area but this is also um, for you guys to put your luggage if it's bigger, you guys should put it here
Alright guys, so we just got off the train and we had to stop by Krispy Kreme at Busan Station. Oh, it's my choice, huh? I wanted it because I always get my... Look how many donuts I got. I got three glaze. Two regular glaze and one miniature glaze. <laughs> but anyways, how was the train ride? Was it worth it, the first class ticket? So I've never been on the normal train, so I'm wondering if the first class is worth it. I feel like uh, the economy one would be a lot better because i mean the seat yeah there is a differences in the seat spacing but other than that nothing much but i'll i would rather go economy actually so but really? if you want to experience it for once in your life why not right but it was it was only 25 dollars different more expensive right yeah. right 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 but i mean still just not not nothing really special all right guys i don't think we really uh kind of gave you explanation of why we're in busan in the first place it's not work related actually we just wanted to do like a quick valentine's day trip Get away. And Sunny always said that she always wanted to go to Busan and Busan's kind of like a more romantic area I would say, you know, along the beach and yeah, so we thought it might be fun to explore a different part of Korea uh, together and so that's why we, we booked a nice hotel, we booked the Hilton Busan The views on the Hilton are absolutely insane, insane. So yeah. hopefully we're going to show you what the Hilton looks like later on So I hope you guys enjoy the short little trip to Busan and all the vlogs that will come with it everyone street food and all the shopping area is like as well so yeah very very curious Alright guys, that's going to end for the video. If you guys want to see what the hotel looks like and when we get up to in Busan, then please stay tuned for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning part of the video where we showed what the bullet train here in Korea looks like. It was both our first times riding the first class, so it was a really interesting experience. Mm -hmm. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next Busan vlog. Bye-bye! <laughs>